Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to explore DALL-E 3. This is a revolution in image generation. We had previously DALL-E 2, DALL-E 2.5, but this is bringing in good and pretty good competition for other image generation platforms such as Midjourney or SDXL. They are, I think, nothing in comparison to DALL-E 3. So as on 22nd of September 2023, this is the best image generation tool that you can have, that you can get your hands on. Now DAL E3 understands significantly more nuance and detail than our previous systems, allowing you to easily translate your ideas into exceptionally accurate images. Give me a moment to prove that. Let's go. So this is the image and the associated prompts on the bottom. So this is the image that has been generated using this prompt. An illustration of an avocado sitting in a therapist chair saying, I just feel so empty inside with a pit size hole at the center. The therapist, a spoon, scribbles notes. So the therapist, he, he has his legs crossed, he's very relaxed, he is scribbling notes, he knows exactly, he knows the problem with the avocado. Avocado is sad and he's just stressed, he doesn't know what to do with his life. And since we have not mentioned anything about the background on the prompt so there's this is just a white background it's a pretty pretty good image this is just the beginning you can see more and more wonderful images coming up so the next image is a 2d animation of a folk music band comprised composed of anthropomorphic autumn leaves each playing traditional bluegrass instruments amidst a rustic forest settings dappled with a soft light of a harvest moon. So we have the moon. So you can see each of the keywords are being respected and each of the words are being included in the picture. This is very beautiful. This is in front of a deep black backdrop. So we have a black background, a figure of middle years, her tongue and skin rich and glowing is captured. So you can see you can put in a very long prompt and and since each of the words are respected, so you get a very detailed picture as per your desired level. And here you can see illustrated by the gleam of scattered porcelain shreds of uh, shards creating a dreamlike atmosphere. Of course, this is a dreamlike atmosphere. The dancer manages to appear fragmented yet maintain a harmonious and fluid form. Pretty interesting. Next image is photo of a lychee inspired spherical chair with a bumpy white exterior, yes, and a plush interior, yes, set against a tropical wallpaper. So we have that wallpaper as well. All the keywords are respected. Now, DALL-E 3 is now in research preview and you cannot just try it out or as of yet but it will be available to ChatGPT Plus users and enterprise users uh, by October 23 via the API and the labs later this fall. Now what is so special? The modern text to image system have a tendency to ignore words and descriptions forcing users to learn prompt engineering. Now DALL-E 3 has reduced the need for learning how to prompt because different softwares, different tools, you need to prompt a little bit differently to get the exact outputs that you want. But OpenAI and DALL-E 3 has reduced the efforts of prompt engineering and now it will respect every word and it is much easier for complicated images to be generated. And these images adhere exactly to the text you provide. So for example, the, the sidewalks bustling with pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. So we have this pedestrians enjoying the nightlife. The bustling city street under the shine of a full moon. We have a full moon and the street is shining with the moon because you can see the shadows here it corresponds exactly to the light from the moon. Then we have at the corner stall, a young woman with fiery, fiery red hair. 
okay red hair dressed in a signature velvet cloak is hag uh, is haggling is you know bargaining with the grumpy old vendor oh she is and the grumpy old vendor a tall sophisticated man it's very sophisticated very sophisticated i would say very sophisticated is wearing a sharp suit very sharp pretty good sports sports a noteworthy mustache mustache is noteworthy and is animatedly conversing on his steampunk telephone so this is a telephone and it's conversing we have these items for sale and uh, she is bargain, bar bargaining um, with the vendor that's pretty detail image now even with the same prompt we can see here that dali 2 output is this uh, an expressive oil painting of a basketball player dunking depicting of an explosion of a nebula and this is good not bad but this is pretty interesting dali 3 output is pretty pretty good i would say about 10 to 20 times good and interesting than the picture generated in Dali 2. It's like a painting of uh, an average painter. It's like a painting of an expert painter. Now, Dali 3 is built natively on ChatGPT, which lets you use ChatGPT as a brainstorming partner and refiner of your prompts. Just ask ChatGPT what you want to see in anything from a simple sentence to a detailed paragraph. So ChatGPT is integrated with DALI 3. Now I'm going to play this video and you can see how you can use ChatGPT with DALI 3. Let's play this video. Okay, we can see my five-year-old keeps talking about a super duper a sunflower hedgehog. What does it look like? So it will give you the prompts and it will give you the outputs here. Okay, my daughter says his name is Larry. Can I see more of this? Okay, Larry, can you uh, show me Larry's house? This is the house. Larry is so cute. What makes him so super duper? He's kind-hearted. has sunflower petals. Can you show me Larry's being kind-hearted? Yes, he goes to play with the flowers, with the sunflowers and everything. Can you make some stickers? Oh, yes, we can. These are great. Can you make a bedtime story for telling my son or daughter? This is a bedtime story and it's pretty interesting. I love this. Can I see Larry at the end? Illustration of Larry peacefully dreaming. So he's going to sleep. I hope this captures the enchanting world of Larry and his sunflower escapades. ChatGPT brought to you by ChatGPT and Dali 3. That was pretty interesting and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Now, a focus on safety. So there needs to be some regulations. There needs to be some safety aspects because, you know, not everyone is altruistic. Not everyone is good. So it's better to have some steps on safety. So they have taken steps to limit Dali's ability to generate violent, adult or hateful content. This is pretty good. And interesting thing is that creative control, Dali 3 is designed to decline requested asks for an image in the style of a living artist. So you cannot ask ChatGPT to give me an output of a living artist. Now creators can also opt to image out from the training of the future image generation. If you are an artist, you don't image, you don't want your images to be used for training in OpenAI and Dali 3. You can respectfully ask that and ask your work to be removed from the training data and you can preserve your rights. Also, here's the wonderful part. Let's look at the images that have been generated. Let's ponder and see how far we have come from just simple images to these complicated images. Let's dive into the world of AI, OpenAI, Dali 3. So this is the first image that we have. This is how do you pronounce this word? Silhouette. Sil silhouette. A silhouette of a grand piano overlooking a dusky cityscape viewed from the top floor penthouse rendered in the bold and vivid style of a vintage travel poster. Every word is respected. It does look like a poster. It is vintage. We have a grand piano. We are on the top floor of a penthouse. Pretty accurate. Oh my god, this is pretty good. A vibrant yellow banana shaped couch sits in a cozy living room. 
its curve cradling a pile of colorful cushions on the wooden floor yes the floor is wooden a patterned rug as to the touch of the eclectic charm and a potted plant sits in the corner reaching towards the sunlight filtering through the window it's pretty pretty accurate the sun you know the sun rays the shadows and we have this shadows here and the sunlight falling the carpets the wooden uh, floor it's just beautiful next we have this is a landscape made of meat so the vast landscape made entirely of various meats spread out before the viewer tender succulent hills of roast beef chicken drumstick trees bacon rivers and ham boulders create a surreal yet appetizing scene the skies adorned with pepperoni and salami clouds oh my god i'm hungry let me just go grab something to eat i'm just kidding for now let me finish this video and then i will go to the fridge and have something i'm really hungry looking at the food here this is a paper craft art exactly it's, it's, it looks so real so real this is a mini map diorama of a cafe adorned with indoor plants wooden beam crisscross above yes and the cold brew station stands out with tiny bottles and glasses it does look like a tiny uh, miniature version of a building uh, of a structure here of a cafe and it is pretty interesting a middle-aged woman of asian descent uh, looks like asian yes her dark hair streaked with silver appeared fractured and splintered intricately embedded with a sea of broken porcelain the porcelain glistens with splatter paint patterns in a harmonious blend of glossy and matte blues greens oranges and reds capturing her beauty in a surreal juxtaposition of movements and stillness her skin tone a light who hue of like the porcelain adds and almost i was you know lost in the image as um, i was unable to read properly so this one tiny potato kings wearing majestic crowns sitting on thrones overseeing the vast potato kingdom filled with potato subjects and potato castles <laughs> everything is made with potato and we have this portrait image you know focused image and a blurry image here this adds a little touch so we have this emperor here and maybe these are the kings and uh, oh no you know other in charges of the uh, of the kingdom pretty 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 funny pretty interesting this looks like the beginning of a movie advertise an illustration of a human heart made of translucent glass standing on a pedestal amidst a stormy sea rays of sunlight pierce the clouds illuminating the heart revealing a tiny universe within okay the quote find the universe within you is etched in bold letters across the horizon pretty interesting let's look at this tiger stylish portrait oriented depiction where the tiger serves as a dividing line between two contrasting worlds to the left fiery red and oranges dominate as flames consume trees okay that's this can be thought of as death to the right a rejuvenated forest flourishes with fresh green foliage the tiger depicted with exaggerated and artistic features stands tall and undeterred symbolizing nature's enduring spirit amidst chaos and rebirth very good depiction of bird life and death close the photograph is it a real photograph looks more than just a real photograph this is a close-up photograph of a hermit crab nestled in wet sand with sea foam nearby and the details of its shells and textures of the sand accentuated this is pretty interesting pretty interesting i'm very much impressed with this let's look at this building a modern architectural building with large glass windows situated on a cliff overlooking a serene ocean at sunset this looks like a beautiful photograph photograph of an ancient shipwreck nestled on the ocean floor 
Marine plants have claimed the wooden structure and fish swim in and out of its hollow spaces. Sunken treasure and old cannons are scattered around, providing a glimpse into the past. This looks surreal. Illustration of a flat design. This looks like a flat design here of a diverse family of monsters. The group include a furry brown monster. He is a brown monster. A sleek black monster with antennas. Black monster here. A spotted green monster. This one. A tiny polka dotted monster. This one. All interacting in a playful environment. Although they are monsters, but they are very cute when you use the word playful. It makes this very cute. So see, if you don't use the word playful, then you can see this very grave and serious design. You can see monsters coming out of the clouds and the thunderstorms. A detailed oil painting. This look like an oil painting of an old sea captain steering his ship through the storm. Salt water is splashing against his weathered face. Determination in his eyes. Twirling malevolent clouds are seen above and stern waves threaten to submerge the ship while seagulls dive and twirl through the chaotic landscape. Thunder and light embark in a distance, illuminating the scene with an airy green glow. Of course, this is a very, you know, fearful uh, green airy glow that we have in this picture. Next, uh, what is missing here? This one. In homage to the world, old world botanical sketches, an illustration is rendered with detailed lines and subtle water touch, watercolor touch. The artwork captures an unusual fusion, a cactus bearing not just thorns, but also the fragments and delicate blooms of the lilac, all while taking on the mesmerizing form of a Mobius strip, capturing the essence of nature's diverse beauty and mathematical intrigue. This is so beautiful can't imagine my favorite is this a 3d rendered of a coffee mug placed on the window still window sill during a stormy day the storm outside the window is reflected in the coffee you can see the storm in the coffee with miniature lighting balls and turbulent waves seeing inside the mug the room is dimly lit adding to the dramatic atmosphere I think I will put this in as a thumbnail of this video. Next we have this poster like a vintage travel poster of Venus. Yes, travel poster. We missed this is an antique botanical illustration drawn with fine lines and touch of watercolors. Whimsy depicting a strange lily crossed with a Venus flytrap. Its petal posed as if it is ready to snap shut on any unsuspecting insects. And this likes, uh, looks like a woolen thing. A uh, digital illustration of a beach scene crafted from yarn. The sandy beach is depicted in beach yarn. Waves are made of blue and white yarn crashing into onto the shore. The yarn sun sets in the horizon, casting a warm glow. Yarn uh, palm trees sway gently and little yarn seashells dot the shoreline. This is pretty interesting what is this an ink sketch style illustration of a small hedgehog holding a piece of watermelon with his tiny paws taking little bites with his eyes closed in delight oh my god the delight factor is put in eyes closed little bites you know watermelon tiny paws everything every word is respected here you know come on let's give a big clap for dali three and i only wonder what more can we have in this but there is always more there is always more need to be done in this world in this life we don't have video generation strong as of yet and i hope openai will bring in video generation as well this is pretty awesome and uh, we need to wait for a month to get our hands uh, on dali 3 but this is a short video, a short demonstration of DALI 3. And uh, I'm sorry that I've been out for so many days. I just went uh, for a little travel on a little vacation. But now I'm back with more videos and uh, more ideas that I have in, on my pipeline, written on my diary. And uh, I will see you around very soon in the next video. 
This is Prompt Engineer signing off and um, have a nice life, have a nice day. But yeah, before you move on, please like this video, share this video if you have any friends or families that would be interested in seeing these type of videos in of AI videos. And also please subscribe. My subscriber count is very low. It would very, you know, help me so much to motivate me and um, to carry this uh, pursuit of AI, you know, knowledge dissemination or, you know, anything you say, knowledge mastery of AI. Let's learn the AI together because we know this is the future and uh, follow me for more such videos. Uh, so subscribe and uh, I will see you next time. Bye bye. Thank you.